Hello everyone, Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic Era and our Human Paladin leveling campaign here on the White Main server. Thank you guys very much for clicking on the video and choosing to join me here today. I do appreciate it, and I hope you are all doing well. We are going to start some things in Westfall today. We're going to do some low-level questing. We should have some level 11, 12 quest that we can knock out pretty easily. Uh, and that's how we're going to start things off. We also sold quite a bit of stuff on the auction house, so we are up to 9 gold, which is awesome. And the other day on the stream, we actually started up our professions alt. So we have an alt that's going to be doing mining to sell ore. We're going to be doing tailoring to craft uh, some healing gear for the paladin. And we're also doing tailoring so we can sell bags on the auction house because bigger bags sell for quite a bit. So yeah, we're making money over on that character now too, which is a dwarf priest. And uh, that was a pretty fun stream. So yeah, we're pulling in some gold, which feels good. Now the trick is just not to spend a bunch of it. Uh, looking at our professions here, I think we're good. We shouldn't need to train anything here for a little while. And also, cooking and fishing. I'm going to be doing cooking and fishing over on the priest. So that's going to be our professions character. They're going to serve as a support for our paladin, which is our main. And as part of that, I want to do all the fishing and cooking over on that character. That will save me from having to do it here in the recorded series. I do feel like that kind of content just works better on the stream. We can hang out, work on professions, have a chat. Whereas if I'm doing it, all of it, on this character, then it just kind of takes up time that we could spend leveling. So hope you guys don't mind. Uh, we'll still be working on our herbalism and our skinning. We're going to keep those up. We're going to keep selling stuff. We're going to make a lot of money that way. So we will still be doing that. I just won't be doing cooking and fishing on this character. Oh wow, brews, we, we need 100. Um, let's see, <clears throat> we're at 95 out of 150, so we're going to have to get that skilled up a little bit more. I hope we don't come across too much brews weed. Uh, I'm really hoping we come across some mage royal. That would be right where we need to be. Good day to you. Hello. We are now using an add-on called Dialogue UI. Uh, which somebody pointed out to me on the stream the other day, does actually work for Classic Era as well. I thought this was only for Retail and Kata, but it does seem like they have a version for Classic, and it's called Dialogue UI. See you around. So if you like reading the quest, or if you just want your quest log to look a little bit better, this is a great way to do it. It's got all kinds of options. You can do a dark mode, you can do the light mode, you can control how big the frame is, how big the font is. Really awesome add-on. So even though we're not reading the quest, we'll go with this. Uh, what I like about this is it has keyboard prompts for accepting and turning in the quest. So you don't have to click. Safe travels. Have a good one. Alright, before we really get into anything here, let's go to the Saldean farm. 
And we will grab the quest over that way. Greetings. Light bless you. For the Alliance. Hey there. Safe travels. Have a good one. Be careful. Farewell. Need help? See you around. Alright, so we're looking for Gortusk livers, we need vulture meat, murloc eyes, Gortusk snouts, okra, we need handfuls of oats. We're going to be doing mainly these three quests. I will probably even work on handfuls of oats if we can find them. Those are typically pretty challenging to find.
Uh, we got a one-handed sword with one strength on it, 5.5 DPS, 8 to 15 damage. Probably just put that on the auction house for a handful of silver. Uh, I didn't notice, but we got tetanus. Stamina reduced by two for 20 minutes. That is an incredibly long debuff. Uh, now, typically we can find the handfuls of oats around here, but I'm not seeing any today. If there are any other players around, which it seems like there are at least a handful, then these are probably gonna be hard to find. Uh, there's one over here by the house. If we act fast, we might be able to get to it. And we did hit level 15, so we have a talent point we can spend. We could keep going into Holy, we could go into Improved Seal of the Righteous. Increases the damage done by your Seal of Righteousness and Judgment of Righteousness by 3%. That, that seems good. I mean, I also want to get into Improved Blessing of Might. Shorter cooldown on Judgment would be okay. I'm not going to be doing Seal of Command, so uh, don't ask. I'm going to be doing a Seal of Righteousness build, which is why coming down here and taking this, it feels like it's actually a good idea. Uh, and I may do that. I'm not in a big rush to get anywhere in the Ret Tree, actually, like when I think about it. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to have Improved Blessing of Might, but if I'm not going for Seal of Command, then, like, really I'm not in a huge rush. Yeah, I think I'm going to go and improve Seal of Righteousness.
And of course, since I played a character yesterday for a lot of the day that didn't have skinning, I've gotten out of the habit of skinning. I wonder how many skins I have forgotten already. Probably more than zero, if I had to guess. Yikes, they have a pretty huge aggro radius. I was trying to get to the Gore Tusk, but uh, we pulled this guy instead. Alright, getting into the cabinet might be challenging. It depends on how many guys are inside. Uh, let's see. We've got two. One of them is a level 15. Okay. I was thinking we could use the fence to our advantage here, but he seems to be able to get around the fence. Which was uh, not what I was expecting. Oh, 
I'm gonna pop Lay on hands here because he's actually hitting us really hard and I don't think I could have got a heal off in time. There we go. Uh, we managed to take him at the cost of our one hour cooldown. My inventory's full. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, let's get ourselves back over to the Saldean farm. That's going to be the closest vendor that we have. Somebody on stream yesterday told me that light feathers were selling for about a gold a piece on the auction house. It's kind of hard to believe, but I'm going to hang on to them just in case that's true. That would be kind of crazy, but also pretty amazing if we can get a gold a piece for light, for light feathers. Um, what else can we get rid of here? These Cragbore ribs, you know, I, I can't cook them unless I have Rhapsody Malt. But you know what? I'm not doing cooking on this character anymore, so I think I'm just going to vendor my meat. Since we are, we're focusing on fishing and cooking on our on our professions alt, I think I can sell all this and just keep my inventory open. That's going to do a lot better for this character than having to lug all of it around. I mean, I you know, I could send the meat over to my cook. That's, you know, also a possibility. Alright, I think that's probably all we can do for right now. Go with honor. There we go.
Sometimes there's a bag of oats here. Um, not today. All right, since we're so close to Sentinel Hill, let's go ahead and pop over here. We'll grab all the quests. We might not work on them today, but at least we'll have them. I do for you. Life bless you. Go with honor, friend. Need help? Be careful. For the Alliance. Hey there. See you later. Good day to you. Have a good one. I supply only the finest goods. I don't think I'll set my Hearthstone here. I think I'm going to leave my Hearthstone set over in Lock Modan. That way, when we decide to zone hop, it'll make it a little bit easier for us to do so. Well met. Go with honor, friend. Alright, that's all of the stringy vulture meat that we need. Now we need a bunch of gore tusk liver and we have to make our way to the north so we can get the three murloc eyes. Thank you. 
Here we go, some major oil. That's right at the level that we need. And here is the last sack of oats that we need. That's nice. Oh, well, of course.
You know what? I have Purify. <laughs> and I could be using that to get rid of diseases and poisons, it turns out. So that's good to know. You know, like the like the 30 minute uh, stamina tetanus disease we have, we could have cleared that easily with one click. Same thing with the poison these guys are putting on us, that uh, it deals damage, it reduces movement speed and attack speed. We need to be clearing that as soon as we get it. Would be smart. All right, that's three out of three from Murloc Eyes. Let's get ourselves out of here. We need three more Gortusk livers. Hello. See you later. See you around. How are you? See you later. Safe travels. Wow, I didn't realize this salesman travels all the way to Westfall. What can I do? For like, you? we sometimes see this guy out in Red Ridge. That's really cool, and I didn't know that. Uh, let's see. Level 19. Level 17. Like, I feel like these swords are probably a pretty decent value. Especially, like, considering how infrequently we're finding weapons. The top end damage on this is, uh, is, not much, is not any higher than what we currently have, but it's a faster swing. And it's more DPS. Executioner's Sword is <laughs> incredibly large. Uh, I feel like I want to buy this one. I like the strength on it. It's a slower weapon. More top end damage, more DPS. I'm gonna buy this. Am I gonna regret spending the money? Potentially. Maybe I shouldn't. 
Maybe I should just save my money. Safe travel. Because with my luck, I will I'll I'll buy it and then we'll get like we'll find like a level 15 blue. That'll end up just being much better. So yeah, I should probably just save my money. All right, well, the game really just doesn't want to drop the last liver that we've needed. We've needed one liver for a while. And apparently none of the boars that we're fighting have livers. Which, you know, I feel like it's a little bit weird, but what do I know? I'm not a doctor.
Hey, there we go. All right, let's go turn this one in. And we got some briar thorn here, also within the, our level range for herbalism. We have a little breadcrumb quest that takes us to Stormwind, a swift message. That's level 10. We should probably do that one now. If we ding level 16, this might go gray. Uh, I'd also, I'm going to mail off some of the meat to our profession alt. Maybe they can use it for cooking. I think we're at like s below level 50 for cooking, so this could still be useful. Uh, and then, do we have anything to put on the auction house? We have a couple of things we could put up on the auction house. A couple of greens we could sell, and some leather, some herbs. Uh, the bruise weed we can't get yet. I think we need 100 herbalism for bruise weed. Yep. We are currently at 98. So, we're close, but we're not quite there. Hey there. See you later. See you around. Have a good one. Safe travels. What can I do for you? Have a good one. Alright, we got the plus three spirit gloves. We'll put those up for 25 silver. We have a 
sword of strength plus one strength. Uh, let's go with 25 silver there as well. Let's check the price of stacks of leather today. Seems to change like every day. 75, 75 silver, okay. We'll do uh, 73 silver. What else do we have? Anything? Not really an entire stack of anything else. Uh, we could check just real fast, like low level blue weapons, just in case somebody's put anything up for like an unreasonably low price. It's probably just worth checking a couple of items. Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> the the rock, the rock is your club. I swear, like, on some servers, this sells for, like, basically nothing. And on this server, we're so inflated, it, it sells for 190. That's, uh, that's incredibly high. Two-handed swords are, like, they're lower, but they're kind of all over the place. Some of them are reasonable, some of them are not. None of it is reasonable for us because we, we don't have that much money. Same thing with the Prospector Axe, like typically this is a pretty cheap blue item. Alright, well, we're not going to be affording any of that stuff like any time in the near future. It's going to take us a while to get our economic legs under us and start raking in lots of gold. It's probably not going to be anything we can do on this character to be able to afford that kind of stuff. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead we'll send some stuff off to our alt. Uh, I want to send the chunks of boar meat. I know that they should be able to cook those. And, and I think that's big. I'm going to, well, yeah, light feathers. Let's check the price of light feathers. Somebody told me that they sell for almost a gold. I don't really believe it. But let's go ahead and we'll have a look real quick. I mean, hey, I love to be wrong. <laughs> Light feathers sell for a gold and 58 silver. Um, why do I feel like I'm going to be farming these? That's absolutely incredible. Let's do a gold 50. And maybe we actually sell some of these. That would be a relatively easy way to make a bunch of gold early on. Uh, if we could farm these light feathers up a bit. Sell a bunch of them. There we go. That would be a nice payday. Alright guys, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take a break right here for now. Thank you all very much for joining me on this journey. I truly do appreciate all the support, the likes, the comments. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.